Hey, it's Aran here. In this System IO tech tutorial and training video, I'm going to share with you how to create cross sells for your products. Now, what is a cross sell? A cross sell is simply that when somebody is in one of your courses, maybe you have offered them a free course, for example, or a paid course, and you have additional courses you want them to potentially buy, you can actually set up where they can see the courses that they have available in their back office where their course area is, but that some of these courses are actually not available for them to access and they have to buy. Let me show you what I mean. So if you go to any course area that you would have set up, you would see that it's basically your domain name forward slash school. In my case, it's members.comtrips.com forward slash school. So this is the school for anybody that bought my courses. Now you will notice that basically I'm not logged in as a person because like, it's incognito. And you can see that this course is still there. And if somebody clicks on get access, what it will do is it will take them to the login area. And they have two options, either login or click on buy. Now, when they click on buy, it will take them to the sales page. Now, right now, because my membership is actually closed, then it takes them to a waitlist page, but at least it goes there to the waitlist page. So if they are interested, they'll join the waitlist. Now, this is available and you could see that this is the only course showing, but I've got many other courses. For example, I have this course landing page in a day. And you'll notice that here there is only please log in if you're already a customer. Whereas here it says buy. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So you actually have this button that goes to buy in your system IO account. So what you want to do is in your account, you can see here, you can click on courses. Now under courses, you'll see there's all the, all the courses. You can see I've got a whole bunch of them. I've got like 2000 or something. Now you'll see if you click on the course, this particular course, which is my membership, you can click on settings. Now under settings, the reason why you see the buy button is because when you scroll down, you can see here sales page. And what you want to do is you want to pick the funnel. So now I'm going to delete this. What's there for a second. I'm going to search for the funnel, which is this one. And then I'm going to see what are the sales pages available. So in this case, I'm going to click on open cart and then I'm going to click on save. My open cart goes to my wait list. That's what, that's how it, the automation is set up. So don't worry about that. That's a different point. But what I can do now is I can go to another course, for example, that I have. So let's just go to another one and set it up again. Now you'll notice that when I go to courses again, if I go to landing page in a day, and I click on the settings, you're going to see that I actually have no nothing set up here. So when it says choose funnel, I actually don't have a funnel connected, which is why you saw a second ago, you saw that it only says login, it doesn't show buy. So you can see here on the templates and coaching membership, there is a buy button, whereas on the landing page in a day, there is a login button and no buy button. And here, the only one displaying is the one that's available to purchase, okay? Which is really important because that's where you do your cross sales. Now, how do we add more? So I'm going to show you how I'm going to add another offer that needs to be here because I want it to be used as a cross sell for people to potentially buy. So this offer is a different course and it's called landing page challenge done for you version. So this is the one landing page challenge done for you version. I'm going to click here, click on settings, and now you'll see it will take me uh, here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the funnel and I'm going to search for landing page challenge. And then I'm going to choose the funnel step, which is done for you. I believe that's the correct one. I could, I could be wrong, but let's just see. Click on save. Okay. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to go back to the other page, which is the uh, school page. And if I refresh, it should appear. There you go. So now it appears. Now, if somebody clicks on get access, you will see here the login or the buy. Now, when they click on buy, look what happens. It's going to take them straight to the sales page that I have created for the landing page challenge, basically. Okay. So basically, when you're creating sales pages, you're going to need to connect them if you want to have those products as an upsell, basically, or cross sell is probably the better word. Okay. So now, where do you set this up? I'm going to show you that now. So you set this up when you go under funnels, and I'm going to search for the funnel. So this one is called landing page. I'm just going to do a filter and you can see landing page challenge. I'm going to click on this and you will see this is the sales page. So there is this one and then there is this one. So basically anything that has an order form or anything that is a sales page type page, that is what's going to be visible. If you notice on this whole page, this is a squeeze page. This is an opt-in. Thank you. Opt-in. Thank you. Opt-in. Thank you. Um, thank you opt-in thank you thank you sales page so basically this sales page and order form these are the two options you're going to see available when you go under courses so when you go to courses and you're going to pick for example um, let's go back here to settings when you pick which part of the funnel which page for the funnel which funnel step you're going to have basically anything that is a checkout page or a sales page so you can see there's just three of those because that's what's available
Okay. Now to optimize what the school looks like as well, or the product looks like, I definitely recommend you fill in the details here so you can see the course cover. Now, if you click here, um, this one, you see the image will be displayed in the student library. So this is this image. And then you want to put the information right here about the description. Okay. And then give it a good title as well. Now, let me just show you what that would look like when this is correctly optimized. So you can see this information is the description, the banner, and then the name. Okay. That's how it's going to be pro properly optimized. So don't put too much text. I mean, this is okay, but you want to just give a short description to explain what it is basically. So you can do a product mockup. You could do something like that. Again, if you're in my templates and coaching membership, you will see a template for every one of these type of thumbnails as well. So you can use those in your setup basically. Okay. So that's included. If you go to, if you're not in my membership, go to runtemplates.com. So this is a great way to create cross sells in your system IO account, which is really, really valuable, especially if you have multiple products. And this is something that you can do, especially if you're also, if you're selling services, you might want to create, if you want to do different upsells for that, you will want to create that as well. Now there's another way to create um, uh, cross sells or upsells during a course. And this is, for example, let's just say that somebody actually um, joins the course and actually signs up. Then I'm just going to log in as if I'm a customer. So now I'm logged into the templates and coaching membership and you will see that I've got a, a, a module here called resources and you can see here member only deals. So this is another way to set up a, a cross sell basically where something can be additionally offered as part of the membership. And I like to, at the end of a course, always say what's next, because you always want to think about what is the next thing that you want them to buy and you want them to do. Therefore, having that lesson where you say, then, for example, congratulations, you finished. This is awesome. Here's the next thing that I could do to help you or whatever. You can send them to a new webinar funnel or uh, a new offer or um, you know, send them to a free consult or whatever it is you want them to do, depending on your, the type of business you have and what your value ladder looks like. Value ladder being what are the different types of products and services that you're actually selling in your journey um, of serving your customers. So that's another way to set up a cross sell. It's a bit different to what I just showed you, but this works just fine. And um, yeah, it's really important that whenever you're selling anything, you always have a what's next. That's really the biggest concept I want to kind of get across also when you're setting up upsells, downsells, cross sells is the whole concept of what's next? Like what is the next thing you want them to do and want them to buy as well? So as long as you always have that, you can continue to uh, increase the customer value uh, financially for you as well. And also add more value to their, uh, their life as well. Because obviously if you're solving them a problem and they're willing to pay for it, well, that's a win-win for everybody. So that's about it. Um, quick recap. So cross-sell, what you want to do is you want to think about what products or services could be in alignment with your ideal customer and what things that they could be purchasing in addition to what I've already purchased that isn't exactly the same thing, basically. So um, another thing that you also can consider with a cross sale also realize it doesn't have to be your product. It can also be an affiliate product as well. So when you're thinking about cross sales, don't just think about what products do I have? This is where an affiliate model is going to be really, really helpful because you could offer other things that may not be something you've created, but you know it's in alignment. Let's just say you're a fitness coach or a personal trainer of some sort. You know, if you are selling some sort of supplements because you're part of a network marketing company, or if you are selling some sort of gym equipment or uh, clothing stuff that y you know you're an affiliate with Amazon, that will be something that would be a good cross-sell as well. So another cross-sell is, for example, if I'm selling a merchandise, you see I've got a little mouse pad here saying focus focus uh, for dot com truths. That's an example of a cross-sell, okay? It's not really like crucial piece of me helping somebody to set up a landing page, but, you know, giving them a little mouse pad that says focus, focus, you know, it's kind of catchy. And, you know, maybe they'll be like, yeah, well, I'd like to buy it. That's an example of a cross sell. That is a product that I didn't necessarily, I mean, I created this, but I'm not fulfilling it. I'm not shipping it. It's something that's set up with a company that does print on demand. So they print it for me and ship it to my customer. So all I did is I created the design, paid someone to do the design and uploaded it to be done, set up all the automations. And that's that. So that's pretty much it. Hope you get value from this video. Um, I think it's going to be really valuable for you to figure out how to add cross sales because you already have the customer. So you want to figure out how else you can serve them in other ways because they're going to, you know, they're going to buy more things. There's no two ways about it. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks all for watching this video and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you got to do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident, like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, their pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 
197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you want to take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System IO, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.